Here is how to add a slideshow to Wix. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you are all doing great. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, it's going to be very easy to follow and it's not going to be complicated at all. So I will show you exactly how to add a slideshow to your Wix website easily and how to edit things out, how to change the images behind it and how to customize it to your liking. So just stick to me uh, stick with me uh and uh, during this video and you should be good to go so the first thing that you will need to do is just go ahead and edit your site and basically <clears throat> sorry uh just locate the place where you want to add the slideshow so add a section and find the page where you want to add it this is obviously the first step so i will just do that real quick it's not going to take a lot of time so if I just go to the home page, let's say I just wanted to add it to the home page. Let's say I just wanted to add it over here. I can just add a section and let us just add a blank section, for example. So I've got a blank section here and let's say I just want to have a slideshow in here. So it's going to be very, very easy. Now there are going to be two different ways, but I will stick to the main way and I uh, like if for some reason this does not work for you then you can use the other method i will just tell you about the other method real quick uh it's basically if you just go to add apps and just type in uh slideshow you can find uh, so for example slideshow uh you can find apps for example this one image and video media slider uh this could be used for uh slideshows and stuff but I would suggest that you just stick to the one that is built in with Wix unless you, there are specific things that you don't find within it. Then you can go ahead and search for a specific app that has that. But most of the time, the the one within Wix is going to be more than enough. So let's actually get to it. Uh, you will need to just go ahead after you add your section, go to add elements. And then from here, you will need to go to interactive. So you'll find text, image, and so on, but we will want interactive. So just hover over interactive and you should find yourself with a uh, box slideshows. This is the one that we want. And we can just choose whichever one that we want. And don't worry, we can edit everything from uh, this, these uh, pictures and stuff. We can edit everything. Just find the one that has the uh, layout that you like most and just use it. So to use it, you just drag and drop it to wherever you want. So let me just drag and drop it over here. Let's make it in the middle, like so. So now you can see I've got a bunch of slides, three of them, uh, and I can obviously add more and stuff. So let's actually just go ahead and talk about it. The first thing that we have is manage slides. Uh, from managing slides, you can you know remove slides, you can duplicate them, and you can create new ones. So let me just, for the sake of this example, delete these last two. You can't delete the last one, uh, but we can duplicate it and we can add new one. They can add another one and let's just, let's just keep it at four. Let's not add any more. Let me just rename this real quick uh, to slide two. And we've got three and then we've got four. So uh, once we are happy with the number of slides, we will go to the next step. But let me just show you real quick. So this is the first one, and then this is the duplicate, and then we've got three and four, which are not going to be duplicates, and it's going to lose the text and the button, which is fine. We can add more later, and I will show you how to. So uh, next up, we will need to go ahead and actually change slide background. Now to do so, you will need to select the slide that you want to change the background for. So for example, if you go back to one, if you want to change this one, you just hover over it and then, you know, or select it from here, slide one out of four and click on change slide background. So let me just change two, three, and four. So to change two, you just select the next one and change slide background. And let me just uh, use this one, for example. Uh, obviously you can add uh, your own image or you can uh, apply one of those free images that you can use. It's completely up to you. If you want your own, you can just click on image here uh, and you can just upload media and you should be good to go. But let me just use this for the sake of this example. And let's go to slide three. Once we go to slide three, again, same thing. You just select a um, an image. So let me just select this one. And then for slide four, again, you just select another image. 
So now we've got slide one, slide two, slide three, all different images, and that's basically how to do it. So let's go to one, and then we go ahead and click on settings. And here we will find manage slides, which we already talked about, which is this one. It's just going to add or decrease, add or delete slides. So we don't want to click on that. And then we will have this option, this slideshow autoplay. Now I suggest that you keep it on. So, you know, people have um, like see all of them. Maybe one of them, you know, strikes their interest and they like it. And then how long between slides uh, do you want it to be? So how long until the next slide just uh, shows up? And by the way, if you don't want it, you can just turn it off. You, if you want it to be only manual, it's completely up to you. But if you do, you can select also the uh, amount of seconds. I'd like to like, keep it at uh, something around nine seconds. So, you know, it takes time to do so. And then stop auto autoplay on hover. So if my mouse is on the uh, thingy here, the slide, it's not going to uh, hover to the next one or uh, skip to the next slide, basically. I will keep this on, but it's, again, completely up to you. And then this, we've got the transition effect. So you can go to vertical and it's going to show you how it's going to look like in and out, uh, horizontal or crossfade. Now in and out and crossfade, I guess are the best in my personal opinion. If you like others, it's completely up to you. Or you can keep it a num by the way. But let me just keep it to crossfade and so on. And then you can also increase the amount of seconds on how long they last, which is the effect. And then if you want to show or hide the content outside the frame, you can also do it from here. So now we go ahead and go to the next section, which is going to be the layout. So if we just click on layout, we can show navigation arrows. So we can just check this and you can see on the left and on the right, if we move this, we've got now arrows that we can use to move from uh, one slide to the next, as well as the normal buttons at the bottom. So we can increase the size, which I like to do, and then we can also increase the offset or decrease it, which I like to make it like near the corner. Uh, and then the side uh, buttons, we can also adjust so we can show the side slide buttons. I, I meant slide when I said side. Uh, it's the slide buttons which are at the bottom. So if you can uh, hide it or you can just show it and play around with the size, which I like to increase and offset as well. And the spacing, which I guess increasing it should be better, you know, to make it easier to click on. Next, we will go to the um, the design aspect, which is going to give you three different themes here, or maybe more. Uh, and you can just choose whichever one suits you best. Uh, and you can change se selected uh, items within each theme here. So for example, this one, I can change the color of the side buttons here. Uh, let's just make it green, for example. Uh, and let's make uh, the selected button as black. For the arrows, let's make the background green and let's make the actual arrow uh, black maybe. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. And we can again uh, change the border if you want to add a border to it. We can add the width to it and we can also change the color of it to be black or anything else. And then same goes for corners if you want to add uh, radius to it. So, so if you want to make it uh, a little bit circular, you can do 20 uh, or something like that. And you can see now it's circular more than a square. And if you want to add a shadow, which I'm not sure how this is going to work, you can do so as well. So now that this is done, we've got animation and help, which are not, uh, we're not going to be uh, playing around with that. Uh, we can increase the size of it, like so, if you want to, using the stretch which is going to also stretch the entire section with it so it doesn't leave any space. Now, the last thing that I want to mention here is adding text uh, and buttons to selected slides. So for example, this one has it and the second one should have it as well because it's a duplicate. But let's say you create a new one and you don't have any text or buttons. It's very simple to add them. You just go to add elements on the top left, click on it, and then you just click on text, add your text, adjust your text and then edit text, do your thing, change the font uh, and just whatever you want. Let me just just do any random thing here just so you can see. Uh, and let me just uh, change the text to be shop now. 
and let's say I just want to add a button now I just add elements and then button and I can just add this one right like that so let me just make it a little bit more uh, realistic like so change the color of it and for the button again just increase the size of it like so and let me again just make it a little more realistic like changing the background fill to the green that I like uh, or the green that is matching my theme and let me just increase the font size for the text and make it bold so now you can see I've got text and a button and now you may be wondering whether this is going to stay within this slide or is it going to just stay there for the entirety of the entire slideshow and nope if you change the slide they are going to disappear and you can add more to other uh, slides so it's going to be completely separated from other slides which is basically what we want we want each slide to have a specific uh, thing if you don't if you want to have all matching uh, aspects like text and buttons then you can just simply duplicate uh, and then change the background and that's it and by the way to link the button you can just double click on it uh, and then choose a link uh, choose a page let's just do a product page and boom done done let's just preview and it should be good to go we've got an entirely functional slideshow this was a video not an image and you can do that as well apparently uh, so you've got the buttons at the bottom and you can also use the arrows and you've got this button and we've got the button that we just customized if we just click on it, it it will take us to the product page so this is basically how to add a slideshow to your Wix website I hope this video was easy to follow and I hope you that you liked it uh, and that's pretty much it thanks for watching